Uh, hi, welcome to uh, Phil, Ask Phil, uh, number eight, I think, today. And um, I got an email from a gentleman called Brian in Oxford uh, asking me about whether there were any special precautions to take with drinkers uh, through the winter, um, especially with regard to freezing and cold weather. Right, so in the winter, especially with more condensation, damp, rain and mud about, you need to take extra precautions to make sure that you wash out and clean your drinkers regularly because they'll get splattered with everything that's going about and disinfect them regularly as well. Um, we've got various disinfectants here, um, Vercon <clears throat> and BioVX. Any of these are very suitable for, for uh, decontaminating your drinkers. Of course, especially bearing in mind our previous article about bird flu precautions, don't forget that you've got to keep your drinkers undercover and safe from contamination from wild birds and their droppings as well as the feed. Especially in winter, wild birds go for water as much as they do for food. So in freezing weather, uh, the larger the drinker you can use, the better. Uh, because a larger body of water will obviously take longer to freeze than a smaller body of water. So something like this is great stuff. Um, but obviously you've got to bear in mind the limitations of the fact that it's heavy uh, and needs to be moved around. So maybe a better solution uh, would be to use two smaller drinkers and keep one in your house and then bring it out to the chickens and then swap them over. So therefore, if you're around for most of the day, you can keep um, a fr unfrozen, ice-free uh, drinker uh, out there for most of the day. Uh, the next way of making it more practical in freezing weather is to use flexible drinkers. So instead of your standard chicken drinkers, you can use little flexible troughs like this, which it doesn't stop them freezing, but because or rubber ones like that, because you can flex them, kick them, or just stand in them to break the ice, it means that you're not going to get damaged drinkers and it's very easy to actually defreeze them and give your chickens some fresh water. Now, lots of people think that if you put warm water out for your chickens, that's good because it'll stop it freezing so quickly. Well, counterintuitively, I'm afraid that's actually wrong. Warm water will freeze faster than cold water. It's, a, there's a, um, it's called a Mpemba effect. Um, and it actually freezes, it loses its energy faster than cold water. So if you put warm water out for your chickens, you come back in an hour or so, it'll be frozen. If you put cold water out for your chickens, you'll come back in an hour and a half and it won't be. So that's just something to, to maybe not do. The other way you can stop the water in your drinkers freezing is to contaminate it, obviously with something nice. <laughs> so we can use something like cooking glycerin, which is a vegetable glycerin uh, used in baking. You can put some of that in the water of the drinker and that will lower the freezing point of the water. So most of the time we're only down to minus one or minus two in this country anyway. So that will stop it freezing. The other thing that you can use is apple cider vinegar. Back to our old friend apple cider vinegar again. It's great for the birds. They'll drink it in a sort of, you know, four or five percent uh, dilution and it will stop the water freezing down to sort of two or three degrees below freezing. So that's a, it's a good idea for the birds and to stop it freezing up. Now, the other alternative is, is the, um, the high-tech alternative, as it were. So we can go for a heated drinker plate. Now these uh, run on low voltage. So obviously you have to run an extension cable or something out to your, uh, to your hen house, um, but they're quite safe to use. And you just stand your drinker on it, plug it in, and that will keep it ice free for the day. Um, what I would suggest is that you put it away at night. Obviously you're not going to put your drinkers in your chicken house at night because the birds are sleeping tight and not drinking. Um, so that's about it really for for drinkers in the winter, um, just always make sure that you keep them especially clean in the winter because they're a lot more susceptible to germs, bugs, parasites, all this sort of thing. So disinfectants, very, very important in the winter. Thank you very much for watching Ask Phil and we'll be back again next week. Goodbye. If you've got any questions or 
subjects that you'd like covered in Ask Phil, then you can email us to info at flightsofancy.co.uk. That's flight with a Y. Uh, or message us on our Facebook page. Or you can see all our videos on our YouTube channel. If you're at all interested in any of the products that we've shown you today, then you can go on to the Flight So Fancy website, uh, www.flightsofancy.co.uk, where there's lots and lots of poultry related products and a huge amount of information for poultry keepers. Thank you very much for uh, watching and listening. See you next time.